Alright, well the Corsair H50 has been modded, um, the tubing uh, has been changed, and I have my uh, ghetto temporary reservoir set up, and I decided instead of showing you guys the rig right now, because I haven't really fully finalized everything on it, um, I want to re go through and redo the tubing and stuff, because I actually have the flow reversed from what it should be, um, I'll show you guys that later if you don't know what I mean. But uh, basically, I'll just show you guys some temperatures here. Um, not going to worry about idle temperatures because that doesn't mean anything, especially because I'm using the webcam. I'm at my uh, baseline uh, results type overclock here, which is 3.2 gigahertz, and I'm at 1.28 volts under load, I think it is. Uh, so, we're going to run some small FFTs here on low fan speed. I'm running the Cooler Master R490 um, CFM. 120 millimeter fans, push pull, no shrouds, um, and we're going to run those at low, which is 7 volts, and then full, which is 12 volts. 7 volts, they're probably only spinning at maybe 1,000, 1,200 RPM, <clears throat> and full speed, they spin at 2,000 RPM. So, we're going to show you the temperature difference here. Room temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So, let's uh, start this up for a minute here, and we'll check what our temperatures are. Temperatures really, um, I mean, as you can see, you probably really can't hear the computer too much because the fans are really, really low. But once I turn them on full 12 volts, they'll get a lot louder. So here we go, guys. Well, we had 63 here going on the next test. So we'll call it, we'll call it 63 here. Been running for about two minutes. We'll call our temperature 63. We'll stop this, and then I will put the fans on full speed. And then we'll go from there. Okay, we have the fans hooked up to 12 volts now. You can probably hear them a little bit better. All right, let's start the small FFTs starting now. Sixty-two temps don't seem that much different. Kind of surprised. It seemed like they were. Of course, then again, I did just heat the system up on that last run, so that might make the difference in the temperatures, maybe. Zero so twenty, maybe half a degree difference. Maybe and we're sitting pretty steady here at sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty. Of course, then again, I'm only letting this run for a minute or two, so it could be a lot different variations. I mean, I'm definitely satisfied considering it's eighty degrees in here. And this is a 100% overclock, and it's about, compared to my true, this is about 5 degrees less, and like I said, this isn't even the way it's going to be. I'm going to get a uh, Swift Tech Reservoir, I believe, for it, and I'll put some quarter inch fittings on there. I'll get the tubing cut down, because it's got a lot of tubing on it right now, and the reservoir size... Um, is about probably a little bit more than what one of those small Swift Tech reservoirs would be. And then I'm just running distilled water with about 10% antifreeze for now. I'm going to get some PT Nuke and I'm going to get some red dye and I'm going to switch these fans out probably because they're good but they're not really good for a radiator. I have to get some real good 38 millimeter fans, get some shrouds on it. And we should see another degree or two drop, hopefully. It's not so much a big drop in temperature I'm looking for. It's more of a sustained temperature of, of when I start, you know, when I want to push it even harder, holding that temperature. Like, if I could hold this, this 60 to 63 or 64 degrees up until, you know, 1.4 V-Core, that's, that's, that's the goal there. 